Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges and it's Trade In Tuesday. You know, the stores are full of those really cute gift packages now, and some of them have started their Black Friday sales already. Even if you're shopping for someone else, you know you're tempted to get yourself a few things because it's just so fun. Well, today let's trade hoarding for resourcefulness. In Luke 12, 16 through 21, Jesus told a parable. The land of a rich man produced plentifully, and he thought to himself, what shall I do, for I have nowhere to store my crops? And he said, I know, I will do this. I'll tear down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods, and I'll say to my soul, soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. And God said to him, you fool. This night, your soul is required of you, and the things you've prepared, whose will they be? So is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Well, the rich guy spent all his resources on himself, when he should have been looking to God for guidance because God is the source of our resources. So today, let's you and I ask God to help us examine our motivations and guide us in using our resources in the best way possible. I'm gonna give you two questions to think about. Number one, retail therapy. It's entertaining, but clutter and debt are stressful. So what have you already bought in the past that you could put to use to have some fun now instead of buying something new? Number two, Sometimes we buy to fulfill a deeper desire. Are you buying creative things because you wish you had time to create? Do you buy nice clothes because you wish you'd get noticed? Do you buy tools because you wish you felt useful? Do you buy things for other people when you really want their company? Were you abused as a child? Buying can be a misguided way to make up for that. So this season, let's find ways to have fun with what we have, and get what we really want instead of regret. God bless you.